Hi, welcome to CareStream NDT YouTube video channel. I'm Steve Mango, Technical Manager for CareStream NDT. And today I'm going to show you how to calibrate and use the measurement tool. This is our measurement reticle. Uh, I'm going to come up to the toolbar. And this icon here, which looks like a reticle, it's, it says reticle. I'm going to click on that. That allows me to draw a reticle on my image by clicking and dragging, starting from the center of the reticle. So I'm going to start in the background here to just show you the reticle. I'm going to click and drag. And when I let go, I've got a reticle there now. In my preferences, I, I had these, uh, these tick marks very close together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom way up on the image as if I'm making a very fine measurement. And as you can see in this reticle here, uh, I can specify the tick marks. I can specify the number of uh, minor tick marks in between those uh, major divisions. And I can specify how thick I want this outside line. I can specify the color. And what else? Uh, I can specify for the pinwheel style whether I want the zero point to be in the middle or I can actually have the zero start at the edges, left edge and bottom edge. So now what I can do is take this uh, reticle and just move it around my image till I get the zero point on something that I want to measure. Let's say this, the, the width of this uh, collar here. And I can read off of there. I'm going to zoom that up so I can see it a little better. Zoom and pans. So I've got about uh, roughly like 0.85 inches or so on that, on that dimension there. Uh, the other thing I can do is, uh, instead of this pinwheel, I can modify the design of my reticle in preferences to do concentric circles. And I'll do that real quickly now, is uh, File, Preferences. So we have lots of advanced preferences to allow the user to set uh, just about any kind of configuration and preferences. So I'm going to go to Display Defaults and click Measure. Uh, reticle and select the uh, concentric circles. And I think I want my uh, millimeter interval to be something a lot bigger. Oh, my inch interval, I'm going to put that on three tenths of an inch so it's not so crowded. Apply that. And now let me get rid of this one and draw you a new reticle. Again, I'm going to come up to my icon my, for the reticle. Left click there click and drag. And now with the uh, concentric circles, you can see that I have just concentric circles. They always start at zero in the center. And I've got three tenths of an inch increments. Again, I specified all that in preferences. And I can get this uh, reticle, again, move it around my image and put that zero wherever I want to measure and make some, uh, some nice accurate measurements. I can even combine the pinwheels and the concentric circles to have both of them show at the same time. So the preferences give us lots and lots of flexibility.